first of all, I went in February to TCEA, and I kept hearing about go to the Qtopia booth, go to the Qtopia booth. And at first, when I got there, I thought, well, I don't know, you know, I'm pretty skeptical of everything. So I came back and thought, it's free, I'll use it. And I just put it out to my class, and we went, did, built my character, and I showed them how to do it, and I put it in their computer center and in the computer lab. And I said, well, I'll just see how they do. And uh, everybody was great. Everybody did it, except this one little girl. I'm going to tell you about her in a minute because it was homework. She was not doing it because it was homework, and I didn't make her do it, so she was not going to do it. But she ended up doing it. I didn't know more of the dog ate my homework because nobody had an excuse because there's no paper. They all uh, did it on the computer. I didn't have to miss my conferences standing over the kids doing makeup work. That's when I stopped doing the homework is that I have 54 kids. 20 would turn it in on time, the other 30 would turn it in late or not at all. So I'm going through who did it, who didn't. You know, if your teachers or administrators or anything, you know how that is. And then what I did get, I'm grading, and then I'm trying to figure out how many points do I deduct. And then I came up with a system of um, if you don't do your homework by Friday, I'm putting you in detention. Well, the mayor's daughter is in my class, and she was the first one to go to detention. And so I, the first time ever. She's a GT, gifted and talented kid. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not working. About a month later, I just said, forget it. I'm not doing homework anymore. And uh, so I was really excited to get this because I, I don't want homework to make punish them. I want them to, to practice what I've taught them. And that I've, I've found other websites that have games, but they didn't go with what I was teaching that day. If I'm doing cause and effect, I want to submerge them with cause and effect, and maybe I want to throw some inferencing in there because that's what we did last week. But I don't want to throw you know, Arthur's purpose because that's the only thing available and I've never done it. So, and that was what I was running into. And I'm not grading homework, I hate grading homework. Okay, the teacher love of this. When I went to set it up, that was what everybody, all my teachers were, how hard is it to set up? Well, all I did is I went in, I created a class, I, put, I won't show you my student IDs or anything, but you do, a, you do an ID and you do their names and I kind of went with what they already knew. I went to the librarian and I said, hey, what's their AR passwords that they already knew? And she gave them to me, so I just used them in here too. And I can always edit, delete, and then I have some little extras over here. The assignments spit my state curriculums, you know, I was saying, these are some of the main things that I like, that I have to teach to get them to pass our state tests, and I find plenty to go with this stuff. Um, and if they're real easy, I didn't show you, but they, to add an activity, it's online curriculum, and so I go in and I put what I want. I can search by state standards, I can search by keywords, so I find what I want pretty easily. Quick analysis of the student work. Okay, so it grades it for me. I've hidden my students' names, okay, so you don't have to see all that, but it lets me know who, how I'm doing just at a glance. It lets me know more detailed about that student. Now, this student and this student, these are my special needs students, and I have assigned them something from second grade. Well, this one has actually got something from first grade because he's still working on phonemic awareness. He can't hardly read, so I'm still working on him with his as and EIs and all of those things. And I don't have a lot of time for that, so, and he loves doing this, so he's sitting here doing those activities. And then my ESL kids, they have a different assignment because they have more vocabulary. They usually have this and the vocabulary because they don't mind having two or three things. What I found out the first week of doing it, I had kids emailing me or on the Qtopia and coming in saying, would you put more assignments on there? I'm out. And um, at that point, I had not done right and didn't have practices on there. Now I have the practices. They do a lot of practicing. But they were actually asking me for more homework. I said, do, do you have a fever? But, um, you know, you, I appreciated the fact that they wanted it. And then I can look at it as the student. How did they do? What did they miss? And I can go in and look and say, is this something the student's having a continuous problem with? And it's easy analyzing. We always talk about, well, what are we gonna, how are we gonna take the information from the homework and the tests and things? And honestly, a lot of the times I'll grade it, but I don't have time to go through it and compare what everybody did. And here I've got, I'm able to compare it and even go and look more in depth to what the student's done. And my kiddos are having fun and they're learning at the same time, so love that. Okay, what I'm gonna show you now is what, a couple of videos of my kids and their avatars, so this is, this is his avatar. He really went all out. 
This guy is a lot more into sports and it's funny. I know exactly who this is because it looks like him. Because <laughs> he would be doing that all the time. And you can see what they think is attractive. Ugh. So here's what he sent me. I will make a hundred on my test. <laughs> I was like, good deal. But so that's him. And this is just one of the other little avatars, this little girl. She, she, does, she does do this. She's very prim and proper. And you can tell she's, she's got a little bit more realistic about hers. And I love Qtopia, and thanks for letting us do it. And that's like two, three, four times a week I get one of those. And this one, she plays a lot. <laughs> she's got her Visa card, her dog. <laughs> Look at <laughs> all the bags. Yeah, she likes it. And I thank you very much for Qtopia. It is so awesome. She's so sweet. She did this before school. She doesn't come to school early, so she was still at home when she was doing this. Unless this is, unless this is on a weekend, because they can do it at home, and they, have a, they just have a password. Their parents have to sign them up, and then they get an email to confirm it on their parents' email account, so their parents know what's going on and um, then they can play it at home, but they can't play it after school hours until their parents sign them up. This little girl is my like number one. Her mom calls me this summer. Can you please add some more assignments? She's done all the practice five or six times. We need more assignments. And so I'm on there assigning her stuff. And uh, she, yeah, she's, she's a cutie pie. I think she had like 2,300 points where everybody else had five or 600. <laughs> And she lets me know what she likes and what she doesn't like. <laughs> so I kind of, she's my guinea pig. I'll set something out for her. And I like the fact and opinion. And sometimes she'll say, I didn't like something, you know, there was something she didn't like. And I'm thinking, that's because you don't know how to do it. Let's go back and look at that. And this is, she's doing it at night. She does a lot at night. This little girl right here, she's the one that did not want to do this. She said, she does it at the front of the class because I have to keep her at the front of the class. And she goes, I'm not doing that. I hate at homework. I said, all right, don't do it. So we, she didn't do it during the trial period. When it came time, I thought this is going to work. I'm assigning assignments now. They're going to be due. I mean, you turn it on on Thursday. Uh, she had to do it. And she's very studious. She's not going to make a zero or get in trouble. So she did it. And so here's the message I got. <laughs> Dear Miss Brotherton, I really like Utopia now. <laughs> Because all she could think was, homework, I hate it. And uh, then she got it, and she was thinking, I love it. And she'll come. She tells me all the time, I really like it.